So all right guys, I'm gonna show you real quick how you can add a customer, uh, do a job, complete the job, get paid and all that with Yardbook. So we're gonna add a customer here. We're gonna, this customer is going to be myself. <clears throat> so we're gonna add the customer here. We're gonna put me in there. Um, we're gonna put the business name. We're gonna put this address right here. Um, this is my old shop address. And we're gonna save it. So this right here is just all your customer info. So I have the name right here, the address, my email address, uh, my phone number, which that is not correct. So if you call that number, you're not gonna get me. Um, so here's the address and you can add multiple properties uh, per customer. So if I had, let's say I was a property management company and you can, you can have, uh, I think I have one customer where I actually have like 10 properties for. But anyway, you can put the lawn size, um, you can record how much mulch uh, you need that way every year you, you know uh, your price per cut. So here we're gonna, I mow this yard at $30 because this guy is very, very cheap. Um, he doesn't want anything over $30. So we're gonna add a job. We're gonna do that right here. We're gonna add a job. We're gonna call it a weekly mow. And you can see the address right here. And we can set this as reoccurring. We can set it as a one-time mo. Uh, we're gonna do reoccurring. Um, you can do weeklies, you can do bi-weeklies, and you can do a custom schedule if you're mowing once a month, once every three weeks, whatever the case may be. This one here, we are gonna mow weekly on Wednesdays. And we're gonna start it today. And then we're just gonna save it. So you can see right here, it kind of shows kind of the future dates. Now you can actually go in and put a time. Um, I never do that. So everything is just kind of set at uh, midnight. Um, you can add notes in here. Um, you can do all kinds of different stuff. So this is just kind of the basics of how to get started uh, with Yardbook. Okay, so once we have the, the job in there, we're back on the customers page. Uh, we can go in here to click jobs, that, the, uh, the jobs that we have for today and you can see it's in there. So now let's say we go, we do this job, we do it in a top-notch way, um, everything's perfect, done. So we're gonna click done, the job is completed. So now we are back on the customer's page, we're back on my page here. Um, you can kinda go down, you can see right here, we completed that job. And so now we're gonna bill this person. We're gonna send them an invoice, we're gonna do that right here. You can see their customer info already comes up and we're gonna add an item. And since we already have the price in there, what we cut every single week, it's right here. And the way I usually do it is um, I put um, uh, weekly mo, let's put the date in there and then you can add comments down here if you want to uh, for the customer, whatever you want to do. I'm going to click Actions. We're going to send this to the customer. We're going to email it to them. I, I email all my estimates now. And this is kind of a preset deal right here. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, so, with, with every single email that I send out, every single invoice, there's a payment link right here. So they get a copy of the invoice, which is right here, and they get a payment link. So I do all my billing through email, and um, I'm gonna show you how that works. So once you got all this set to whatever, you, however you want, you can send it. Okay, so this is what the email looks like. So like I said, this is kind of what the text that was in the email. You can view the invoice. Um, you can take a survey. You can unsubscribe from this. Here's the payment link if you wanna go that route. Here's your invoice. Uh, if you wanna download it, if you wanna save it or whatever. Let's go into view invoice. So this is what the customer would see. So you can see right here, it says weekly mo 1113. 
this uh, customer set up on a net 14. Um, you can change that as, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can do upon receipt, seven days, 14 days, uh, 30 days, 60 days, whatever you want to do. Um, and then you can click pay now. So up here, customers can store their card on file. They can take a survey, they can send me a message. Um, they can uh, look at before and after pictures. I've never really done this feature right here, but I can upload before and after pictures. And this is where the customer can look and see, um, you know, their before and after pictures if, if they require that. So we're gonna go ahead and click pay. So this here is another feature that I love about Yardbooks is the tip feature. I have it in there for every single invoice that I, that I send. The customer actually has to click no tip to get past this section. Um, I do get tips from, from people. Uh, last year, I think I ended up with like $700 for the year in tips. Um, so I got some customers that will tip me every single invoice. Um, here, we're not gonna tip them. <laughs> $30 is way more than, uh, way more than I wanna spend on this. So um, we're gonna click pay now. And then it just brings up all this info right here. You can put in your credit card info which I am going to do. So we put the credit card info in there. We hit pay now and it shows right here that they have already paid. Remaining balance is zero. Uh, so we paid him $30. So now we're gonna go back to our email because every single time a customer pays, I get an email showing that they've paid. Boom, here it is, it's pretty instant. Um, it only takes a couple seconds for me to get this email. I've received a payment from Top Notch Lawn Care, and um, that's how I know I get paid. Go back into Yardbooks, and uh, we can go to the customer's page again, and invoice, or we can go to, uh, we can go to their billing history right here. Click billing history, and it shows, I sent this invoice, and it shows already that it's already been paid. And this is how you just, you can keep track of everybody um, each account, kind of what's going on, um, and it makes it very, very simple. So I just wanted to show you real quick how easy it is with Yardbooks to add a customer, to add a job, to complete the job, send an invoice, and get paid. It is very, very simple. Uh, the credit card uh, processing is um, through Stripe, and um, it's very, very convenient. It's also very easy to set up. Um, you just need your bank account info. I think you need a website. Um, if you don't have a website, you can put something else in there. I can't really remember. It's been you know five years since I've set this up, but uh, I do know it was very, very simple and very easy to do. So anyway, just to, I, like I said, just wanted to show you guys just kind of a quick overview of how Yardbooks works and how easy it is. And if you like it, you can click the link below. And uh, we'll see you guys later.